Who do you say I am? Isn't this a surprising question to ask someone who has been with you for a while? Yet Jesus asked this of his disciples who had been following him. For today's reflection, we shall focus on just that line. Who do you say I am? It is in Mark chapter 8, verses 27 to 33. This is Nini Ikases. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, Who do people say I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked, Who do you say I am? And Peter answered, You are the Messiah. Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. Jesus asked his disciples the question, Who do you say I am? After he had fed the 4,000, after he had traveled to many places teaching, after he had walked on water, cast out demons, healed the deaf and the blind and many others in towns, villages, and countryside. They must have considered him one of the prophets. He was a healer. He was a, an exorcist. He was a miracle worker. He was this to them and more, and they followed him. If Jesus were to pose this same question to us today, what would we say? Would we give him answers that we learned in school or would that we heard from preachers or that we read in the Bible or in other books? I believe that to this question, we can have different answers and different at different times in our lives. I believe that we see a different face of God in the different stages and circumstances of life that we are in. Over the years, I have found Jesus to be my teacher, the greatest teacher of all. He was great at teaching profound truths to crowds of people in amazing ways that spoke to them and spoke to me. He was also my healer. I loved reading the line in the Bible and he healed them all. And I prayed that all would include me and the people I pray for. Jesus was a miracle worker. Jesus was the radiance of his father's glory the imprint of his being. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 28, Jesus said, Before Abraham came to be, I am. When I was younger in the faith, I never fully understood the words, I am who am. This was God's answer to Moses when Moses asked him, Who shall I say is sending me? What shall I tell the Israelites? Was I am who am just a play of words? Was it a philosophical question? Was it referring to someone who was present at the moment? My brothers and sisters, as I journey on in faith, I know with all my heart that when God says to me, I am who am, it is because he is the all-sufficient one, the ever-present one for me. He is all that I need at all times in my life, I am who am. I pray that Jesus may be to you whoever you may need him to be. If you've been blessed by this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Pathways of Hope. Again, this is Nini Ikasas. Thank you, and God bless.